This past summer, my family and I decided to take a little bit of a trip. There were a couple flights involved. We live in Eretz we had to go and take a stopover in Italy. Although on the way there, there was an unexpected change of events where we had to stop over in Cyprus. What's the problem with that? Very small connection time in Italy. We said, maybe we'll make it. But things were taking their time in Cyprus. And I was like, uh-oh, I hope we're gonna make it. Now my wife is like, what do we do? And we're calling up and sending emails and hopefully maybe we're gonna make it. I said to myself, you know what? A lot of these Vayimoyin videos are pretty powerful ideas. Maybe I'll do that also. So I said, Hashem, listen, I'm careful. I'm ca I try to be careful with my Shemir Sanayim, but I'm going to go overboard now. I'm going to do even more. I'm going to do above and beyond. In the schus of that, can you please make sure that we make our flight in Italy? Terima Daber, maybe a second later, not even done, I get an email on my phone. And you have to understand, we were in the sky already. It didn't make any sense. I didn't even have any service. I got an email that said, your next flight from Italy is delayed. I said, I can't believe it, it worked. That is unbelievable. This is crazy, we're gonna make the flight after all. We ended up getting to Italy, but then we were stuck on the plane for an unexpected 45 minutes. We got off the plane, we went to the luggage, it was mayhem, it was pandemonium, people were going crazy, police were tackling people because they were trying to get behind to get their luggage. To make a long story short, we missed our flight. And I was thinking, what? What happened? Why you mind? You know, I, I, I was careful. I, I tried to be more. And what happened to the fact that, you know, my, my business is going to skyrocket now? I'm going to win the lottery. What happened to all that? You know what happened to all that? It all happens. The question is when. Sometimes we see it over here in Olam Azeh, And sometimes it's reserved for Olam Abba. Every Maisim Tov, everything that we do, we're going to get scar. We're going to get rewarded for it. But over here, this isn't a gumball machine. You put in a quarter, gumball comes out. And sometimes I think it could be looked at like that. When we have an Nisayon and we overcome the Nisayon and then we think to ourselves, well, right now, obviously, we're going to have dancers run out and start celebrating with us. Sometimes it's not like that. And sometimes you miss your flight and you're stuck in the airport for the 15 hours after repay and rebook another flight and pay thousands of dollars. But at the end of the day, it's still all worth it. We just went to the Yom Nerayim. We said, Avinu Malkeinu, where Mamlech HaKadosh Baruch is the king. We accept the Gezeris HaMelech. We go through Yom Kippur, and now we make our way into the Sukkah, Tzileim De Nusa. That is the shadow of Amuna. We step into there and we say, Hashem, I'm walking outside in the dark. I don't know what's going on. Things can be hard and complicated. They can be difficult. But I know one thing. This is the Gezeris HaMelech. This is what you want me to be doing. I'm going to be doing it. So the next time we find ourselves in some pickle, sure, we should strengthen ourselves and do a little bit more. And even if we don't find ourselves in a pickle, we should strengthen ourselves and do a little more because that's Xerus Amelech.